This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, is there a way to convert an insert mesh brush part to a VDM brush part? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I just have a polysphere loaded in here, and I've just divided this up to around 1.5 million polygons, and I've also deleted any subdivisions. So the question is asking about taking an insert mesh brush part and converting it to a VDM brush part. So before I go into the process of how to do this, let's just first talk about what an insert mesh brush part is and what a VDM brush part is. So if I navigate over to my brush pad over here and open this up, let's first locate the IMM model kit brush here. Now the IMM model kit brush is an insert multi-mesh brush. So if I select this, you'll first notice at the top here, you're gonna get this IMM viewer bar, and this is going to show you all the parts that are contained in this brush. You can also press M on your keyboard, and this will generate a list of all these parts as well. So an insert multi-mesh brush is going to allow you to store a whole bunch of different mesh parts, and then you can select these parts, and as long as your model does not have any subdivisions, you can click and drag on the surface to insert these parts on your model. So this is extremely handy for adding details and other things across the surface of your mesh. Now you will notice as I apply these to the model that they're staying as separate elements. So each of these parts that I've drawn out is just being inserted into the models. So it's not fusing or sculpting into the surface. It's just adding this new mesh geometry to your existing model. Now if I switch to a VDM brush, go to the brush pellet over here and open this up, and let's select the chisel creature brush, which is a VDM brush here. You'll notice when I select this brush, the IMM viewer bar will still be open and you'll see all the different parts that this brush contains. You'll also notice that these are all being generated on these plain 3D objects. So you can see every single one of these parts is starting from this grid plane and then has a detail projected on the surface. So a VDM brush, let's say I grab the scale one here, is basically a 3D alpha. And what this is going to allow you to do, it's going to allow you to take these objects here that are loaded in the brush, and then you can use these to sculpt on the surface your model. Now you'll notice, compared to the insert mesh brush parts here, that this is going to deform the surface of your mesh. So you can see as I apply these to the surface of the model, it's not creating a disconnect like the original insert mesh parts did. So this is a sculptural effect that is happening to the surface of your model. And the quality that you achieve when using these parts is gonna be related to your mesh resolution. So the question is asking if there's any way I can take an IMM brush part, so like this one I drew out here, and instead of having it come out as an insert mesh part, convert it to a VDM brush. So when I draw it out, that's going to fuse with the surface of my model. So to do this, we just need to go back to our insert mesh brush. I'm gonna go back to the brush palette over here. I'm gonna select the IMM model kit brush again. I'm gonna press M on my keyboard and select the part I wanna to convert to a VDM 3D alpha. So I'm gonna select this Cones 03 here. With this part selected, I'm now gonna to go to the brush palette up here, and I'm going to click this two mesh button here. So this is gonna take the IMM part that I currently have selected with this brush, and it's going to transfer it to mesh geometry. So coming over here and clicking two mesh will now give me something like this. And you'll notice that this part has a little bit of tessellation happening because it's low resolution. So I'm just gonna divide this up a little bit. So I'm gonna go to the geometry tab here and I'm just gonna click divide a few times to get around 25,000 points. So it has a little bit smoother surfaces. And then I'm just gonna click delete lower to get rid of that. And now that I have this part from the IMM brush changed to a tool, I can now grab an alpha of this brush. So I'm gonna to go to the alpha palette over here and I'm going to click the From Mesh option. So this is going to take the 3D part here and convert it into an alpha. So clicking From Mesh. And after you click From Mesh, we'll get this little Transform Alpha 3D window here. And you just wanna zoom this out just a tad bit. So you don't really want it bumped all the way to the sides because then it'll have a chance to distort the edges. So we just wanna zoom it out some. So it ends up about like this. And then down at the bottom here, we're just gonna click OK. And then after you click OK, you should now have a new alpha that's been created here. 
And now the next thing we need to do is we need to take this alpha and then transfer it back to a mesh. And when we transfer the alpha back to a mesh, you'll notice that it's going to create the alpha on a grid plane surface. So this is looking very similar to what we saw when using that VDM brush. So the VDM functionality requires that the brush parts be made from a grid plane object. And so doing this alpha to mesh conversion here, it's going to take that alpha and it's going to convert it into a grid plane object with that alpha projected onto the surface. So now I just need to take this subtool here and append it to that VDM brush. So I'm going to go back to the brush palette over here, open this up. I'm going to select that chisel creature brush again, which is a VDM brush. So you can see it has all these 3D alphas again at the top. And now with my subtool selected, that has now been created from this grid plane object. I can now go to the brush palette and I need to click this from mesh button, which is going to now take the subtool that has been generated on this grid plane and it's going to convert it to a 3D alpha and append it to this chisel creature brush. So clicking from mesh will now take that and you'll see now I have an alpha over here that's got a 3D icon next to it. So this is a 3D alpha. And if I come to the IMM viewer bar at the top and scroll all the way down to the end, you can see there is my new VDM part there. Now I can go back to my polysphere object. I can zoom out a little bit and I can make sure I have that part of the chisel creature brush now selected. And now if I draw this out on the surface, you're going to see it's going to apply it to the surface of the model and it's going to apply it as a VDM part rather than an insert mesh part. Now you can mess with some of your options here, such as your focal shift to get more of a harsher angle to match a little bit more of the style that the original IMM part had. But you can see now I can use this as a VDM instead of having it being drawn out as an IMM part. So to recap, the process is to first select the IMM brush and the part that you want to use. So let's go over here and select the IMM machines part brush. In here, I'm going to select, say, this recessed dial right here. I'm now going to go to the brush palette. I'm going to click this two mesh option, which is going to take that IMM part and generate a new tool from it. With that new tool created, I just want to position it so that it's facing head on. You may want to divide it up a little bit. So I'm going to hit Control D on my keyboard to kind of divide this up. After you have it to your liking, now you can go over to the alpha palette over here and use the from mesh option, which is going to capture that subtool and turn it into an alpha. And when you do this, you're gonna get this little transform 3D window here. You wanna zoom out a little bit so it's not bumped up to the edges. Then you wanna click okay. And then after you've created that alpha, you now wanna use the alpha to mesh option, which is going to transfer that alpha to a grid plane tool. So you can see now I have that alpha as a grid plane. Now, after you have this created, you now just need to go select a VDM brush. So I'm going to go back to that chisel creature brush here. With this brush selected, we're going to now back to the brush palette and we're going to go from mesh. And this is now going to take this grid plane subtool and convert it to a 3D alpha. And this should now append it to the end of your brush here. So there's my new VDM alpha there. And now, after you have that created, go back to your model. Make sure you have it divided up to support the detail. And then when you click and drag, you should now get that part as a VDM instead of an insert mesh. So I hope that helps. And if you have any other questions about ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.